Welcome to Sense Talk. My name is Brandon, and I'm your host. Now, before we get started, please follow me on Twitter at Sense Talk underscore and on Instagram at Sense Talk. Now, before we get into today's video, which is the Sens goaltending preview for the season, let's speak about the beginning of the season. Tomorrow at 7 p.m. Eastern Time, the Ottawa Sanders will be taking on the Toronto Maple Leafs in the Battle of Ontario. The puck drop starts at 7 p.m. Eastern Time tomorrow, and this is the first Sens game since March 11th against the Kings, which was, by the way, the last professional game uh, that was played. Um, in North America before COVID shut everything down. That was the last game. And 312 days later, tomorrow will be 312 days since that game. 312 days later, the Sens are finally playing once again in Ottawa. The game will be in Ottawa at the Canadian Tire Center. We will have, of course, a, a video post-game. Uh, and during that video, I will announce... Uh, in that video tomorrow, what the plan is moving forward for the post-game recaps this year, because um, throughout the eight years or nine years now of Sense Talk, we've been doing a video after every single game, but we have a little bit of an update on that this year, because I'm in university, can't really do that, but trust me, we have a good plan in place, and I think you guys are going to be very excited with, with what we have uh, in store for you. Now, we also made a very exciting announcement uh, the other day. Derek Lee, who is the host of one of the top podcasts for the Ottawa Sanders, the Sense Hour podcast, Derek Lee has agreed to join Sense Talk as the National Hockey League slash Senators uh, correspondent. Now, in the coming weeks, we're going to start incorporating Derek Lee more and more into the show. Uh, he's going to be on sometimes for different segments to discuss Sense and hockey and everything. So uh, let's uh, let's pass it on to Derek to introduce himself. What's going on, Sense Talk? Talk fans and followers. My name is Derek Lee. I'm extremely excited to announce that I've accepted Brandon's invitation to join him as a Sens Talk correspondent. Brandon spent many years establishing himself in the Sens community as one of the very best content providers. I'm excited to honor this opportunity for personal growth. I'd like to thank Brandon. Uh, for this opportunity, I can't wait to discuss all things hockey and Senators. I cannot wait to get started. I look forward to hearing from you all. You could find me on Twitter at DLee075. Thanks, Derek. We are so fired up to have you on the team. This season to be like no other, ladies and gentlemen. The content we're going to produce for you guys is going to be top of the line, the best of the best, the best we've ever done probably. Uh, for the last nine years, I've been grinding this channel, and we're finally starting to take shape to being one of the best, if not the best, uh, place for your Senators news. Uh, I'm so excited to bring the content for you guys this season. Um... I hope you guys stick with us. You guys have been great so far. The support has been unreal. Thank you so much. And this is just the beginning, ladies and gentlemen. This is the beginning of something great. So stick with us. Lots of great things coming your way. The Ottawa Sanders will be starting a new goaltender this season for the first time in about 11 years. The Craig Anderson era in Ottawa is now over. He's with the Washington Capitals. He will be on their taxi squad. So the era in Ottawa for Craig Anderson is over. And now we have a new era. Matt Murray is the new starting goaltender for your Ottawa Sanders. And this... It's potentially the beginning of a great era in Sanders history. Some may perhaps say the beginning of some unparalleled success. Now, the goaltending tandem for Ottawa this year looks as follows. Matt Murray will be starting, followed by Mar Marcus Harburg backing up, and then the taxi squad will have Joey Decor. We'll get into all those goaltenders and break each of them down. Start with Matt Murray. Last season with Pittsburgh, he had a 2011-5 record with a 2.87 goals against average and an 899 save percentage. Those numbers are not great, but overall in his career, Matt Murray has had good numbers, and I expect him to bounce back. Now, recently, Matt Murray was acquired in a trade with the Pittsburgh Penguins in the, during this draft. Uh, in the 2020 draft, when we acquired Matt Murray, we traded him for a second-round pick and an average prospect in John Gruden. It was a great trade for a goaltender of the caliber of Matt Murray, and uh, Ottawa immediately locked him up to a four-year, $25 million extension. He will be here, ladies and gentlemen, long-term. He's your starting goaltender for at least the next four years. Now, Murray will be looking for a bounce back here. He's had a, he had a sour ending in Pittsburgh, leading to his eventual trade out of the city of Pittsburgh. Now, Murray will be the first starter for Ottawa, like I said, after the long-time uh, goaltender, Craig Anderson, and his long tenure in the Senators' crease. And Matt Murray will be looking to find the form he had when he won back-to-back -back Stanley Cups with the Pittsburgh Penguins. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, Matt Murray was the goaltender that switched that conference final series when Ottawa played the Penguins. He stole that series for the Penguins. So, you know what? Maybe there's something in the Canadian Tire Center that he likes, and he's able to play better in Canadian Tire Center. But regardless, Matt Murray this season... 
I don't expect him to win the Vezina. I don't expect him to win 40 out of 52 games. I don't expect him to be a top five goaltender. I do expect him to have a bounce back somewhat. The Sanders are not going to be the best team in the North Division. They're probably going to be between 5 and 7 in that division, to be honest with you. They're going to be fighting, but they're just not going to be close enough, in my opinion, to you know, overcome some of those teams. But Matt Murray, I, if he has a nine, between a 9.05 and a 9.10 save percentage this season, I consider that a success, especially after an 8.99 save percentage, especially, uh, you know, in behind the defense that Ottawa's putting out this season. It's not the best defense in the world, especially with the players that are going to be playing on a night uh, night end base. So Matt Murray, if, if it's a 9.05, the 9.10 save percentage, I'd take that. I think you guys should too. Something like 20 to 25 wins. twenty Around 20 wins would be... Really nice, 15 to 20 wins, somewhere around there. Um, just, you know, remember it's a shortened season, so I'm trying to just do the math in my head, but 15 to 20 wins would be nice, 25, I don't know, just around there. Um, overall, Matt Murray, I'm not expecting, overall, I'm not expecting Matt Murray to have world-beating top five numbers, but show us that you've improved, and I think he will. I'm, I'm, I am I'm, do expect Matt Murray to have a bounce-back season. He's a talented goaltender. He won back-to-back -back cups for a reason, and there's no reason, in my opinion, uh, for why Matt Murray won't do well in Ottawa. I think he will, and I, I think this is the beginning of uh, the next great goaltender in Sanders history, perhaps. Now, Marcus Hogberg is an interesting case because last season he was 5-8-8 eight, eight, with a 3.12 goals against average and a 904 save percentage with the Ottawa Senators. Now, the stats for Hogberg are very deceiving because it's a common consensus among Sens fans that Hogberg carried one of the worst teams in franchise history last year, and it shows with eight overtime losses. He took those games to overtime himself. Marcus Hogberg, I believe there was a stretch last season where he was in seven games, he, went, he won one game, lost four in regulation and one or lost two part of me in overtime or lost three in overtime marcus hogberg should have probably won five out of those seven or eight games i'm not kidding marcus hogberg last season really proved to us that he is a national hockey league goalie and he's ready to be in the national hockey league and like i just said his numbers are deceiving and i think this season with a better team in front of him the numbers will translate in a more positive direction because he is a good goaltender now hogberg like i just said is a good goaltender and like uh, like I've said to many people before, Marcus Hogberg, he's not a starter right now of any means. Like he can't be the starter for your team. In my opinion, he's not good enough, but he's too good to be a backup. You need him as a one, a one B, uh, situation. You can look at like what Vancouver did, uh, 10, nine to 10 years ago with Roberto Luongo and, um, Corey Schneider, where Luongo got 60 to 55 percent of the starts and schneider got 35 to 40 percent of the starts and then luongo started in the playoffs unless he wasn't doing good and then of course if he wasn't doing well schneider went in for luongo that's what i think Mar marcus hogberg is he's a goalie that's a 1b he can play 35 to 40 percent of your games in the season and overall i think that's perfect for ottawa because you don't want matt murray playing too much you know, and you don't want Marcus Hogberg not playing anything. He's still a prospect. You want to develop him. So I think this is the perfect situation for Ottawa with this tandem because M Matt Murray uh, will perform better, obviously, with given more rest. And Marcus Hogberg will be able to win those games when Matt Murray needs the rest. So it's a great fit. I'm looking really forward to this tandem in Ottawa. I think they're going to do much better than a lot of people give them credit for. I think they're going to exceed expectations. Now, while we move on now from the tandem, let's talk about the rest of the organization this season. Joey Decord will be on the taxi squad this season. And now, Joey Decord last season went 15-6-3 with a 2.61 goals against average and a 9.15 save percentage in 2020 with the Belleville Senators. He will be on the taxi squad for the Ottawa Senators this year, so he will be able to be called up whenever, if needed. Now, what sucks about this, of course, is Matt, uh, Joey Decord will not be starting a lot of games. Uh, obviously, over Matt Murray and Marcus Hogberg, he won't be starting a lot of games. Um, and he won't be in Belleville, so it kind of sucks, but I would expect him to get a handful of starts, and um, he's a good goaltender. I think he's ready for the NHL in the next couple of years for sure, and um, it shouldn't hurt his development too much. It just sucks that this is what happened, but this is the way it is this year, and uh, he will still get, he will probably get a handful, like five to six starts this season, which is still good. It's still better than nothing, and uh, I'm sure he's just happy to be along for the ride. Now, the AHL starters will be Philip Gustafson and Kevin Mandeliz, both very good goaltenders. I look forward to seeing what they can do, and this season we'll have a lot more coverage on Belleville, ladies and gentlemen. Stay tuned for that. We'll be able to keep you guys updated on what they're doing in Belleville. But besides that, thank you all for watching. We are fired up for the season, ladies and gentlemen. Tomorrow against the Toronto Maple Leafs at 7 p.m. Eastern time is when it all starts. So I'll see you all then. Besides 
besides that, thank you very much for watching. Comment below what you think. What do you expect for the goalie tandem of the season? Are they going to do good? Are they going to do bad? Are they going to underperform? Are they, are they going to overperform? Is Ottawa going to make the playoffs? Is Ottawa going to be last? Comment below all your predictions. I will be responding, ladies and gentlemen. But besides that, thank you all for watching. Please follow us on Twitter at Sensetalk underscore and on Instagram at Sensetalk. Please like us on Facebook at Sensetalk. Click the big red button down there and subscribe to us. Sensetalk.ca is our website. Be sure to share this video of Shirkle cool stuff and be sure, most importantly, to like this video and, of course, turn the notification bell on so you get notified whenever we make a new video. Besides that, I'll see you tomorrow night. The Sens are finally back. Let's get into it. Let's drop the puck. I'll see you tomorrow. Go Sens go.